Hello everyone, I'm Nerobax. Welcome back to Asmartan. We're about to start the races for Season 3. We have Bahrain coming up now. And the first thing we'll do is get our performance targets set. So, I think we'll have no problems. Uh, we still have the best car by quite a margin. So, I think we'll just go all in here. And this is the Cursed one. So, again, just one driver, up to five races because uh, whenever I put that one up to two I feel that we crash a lot but I also do that during the last part of the season and there are a lot of crash heavy races during that last part so that could also be the reason why. Now with that in mind before we start the race weekend we'll go and have a quick look at the car again just to see how we are standing with first and everything but cooling even though our cooling is fairly high. Uh, I believe Red Bull had a lot of cooling at 91 and almost 85% here, so they're strong in that, but in terms of top speed here, Red Bull is second, so as you can see, we beat them out on speed, we beat them out on acceleration, pretty good there. There is a different team though that is better at turning, and Red Bull is actually quite shit at high speed cornering, which is a bit surprising honestly, but it is the stat that rises the most, and as you can see, Ferrari actually has some funny stats here, third, fourth, fifth, so I assume that car 2 has even funnier stats so it's a bit of awkward here but still we have a huge advantage on medium speed corners we have a fairly decent advantage on low speed and even still we also have a huge advantage on high speed so we have once again a very very powerful car and i think we're going to take it a bit chill now with development forwards we might turn it into focusing on you know the chassis the side pods the suspension and then maybe either front wing or rear wing and try and keep them up there because I'm kind of tempted to see how uh, how high we can bring our car. We'll also have a quick look here on drivers because I wanted to see if there's some um, new talents that we might want to uh, focus on but as you can see currently there's still none. Bearman is still the the best talent at 18 so wait did it pop up some new ones? I believe me clicking Bearman and then pressing backwards gave us some new talents, <laughs> interestingly enough. Manuel Paris. Uh, is this a new one or is this an old one? I don't even know. And so Trilly is usually the, uh, the youngest one in the game. So this is potentially three talents there. Yes, we will detail scout them because why not? And we might take one of these and try and make them into champion during this uh, playthrough. We'll have to see exactly what we do. So with that out of the way, uh, thank you for clicking the video. Let's get into it. And if you have enjoyed the series so far, please drop a like. Helps me out a ton. Let's get into Bahrain. Ready for Bahrain? Uh, we once again have qualified first and second. And we did that on the same tire for all three qualies. And we still had about three tenths to spare. So we might have just made uh, the same problem that I've had with Williams and Aston problem as well. I was planning to slow down. I have failed tremendously. So I think we'll see just how far we maybe pushed a car then instead. I don't know. Uh, I'll take a break after the recording of this. Hopefully it'll be out by Sunday. I have been feeling quite tired. But if not, it should be out Monday latest. But... I might take a break, record something else for Tuesday maybe, maybe Wednesday too. Uh, but what I'm thinking here is, give me a give me a bit of a pointer, give me a bit of advice. What do people think? Should we go straight on, see how hard we can push the car before the regulation change in 26, in two years, and see how far can we get ahead of the other cars? We just push all out. Or shall we just slow down completely and do something else? Because right now game is a bit too simple when you know what you're doing and again if we are going to do something else i think i might just make a new save uh maybe do stroll do latifi and add a bunch of uh negative modifiers i was about to say add a bunch of limitations so that we can actually have uh, a bit of a more interesting longer standing game where we actually have a midfield fight that doesn't last uh just you know half a season but with that in mind, um, yeah, we did qualify first and second. Expected strategies here are two stops for everyone. And the compound performance, as you can see, the softs are quite good compared to the mediums. They have about eight tenths. They degrade uh, 400s quicker though, so 
they basically are competitive for their whole life, so to speak. As you can see, they have a competitive performance of 90 21 laps, or they run out of durability. And again, 20 laps is what they take to lose that uh, those uh, that advantage that they actually start with. So softs are really good here. Mediums do are about again eight tenths quicker than the hards, and they degrade to hundreds uh, quicker. So again, 40 laps technically competitive, and the hards are just the slowest choice. So if you can do soft, medium, soft here, that might be the play. Soft, medium, medium could also work. Uh, but yeah. That is basically the play here. The softs and the mediums are just that strong compared to the hards. So, um, yeah. Medium, soft, medium. Medium, soft, soft. We'll have to see what we actually have durability on the tires for. Safety car deployment over the last four seasons have been 80%. Uh, an average medium like pick lane, not 20 seconds, not 30 seconds, but 25. So, what I am thinking here is that we will probably start on the soft. We'll gain an advantage from the get-go. So, that is the strategy. We could try something like this, but it's, again, a bit ballsy. We will not be able to take extra fuel if we do this. But it allows us to completely stay off the hard. And if you feel like it, we can just slap on the second set of mediums. So I think we will do this. It's just a better... It's just a better choice, all things considered. And I think we'll do it for both drivers. And with that in mind, yeah, we'll not be bringing any extra fuel. Well, not that we could bring a lot to begin with. And we'll just have deploy for both our drivers from the get-go. And we'll see if this allows us to gain a uh, rather good advantage. Engines are good. Uh, Battle is used a little bit more than Alonso. But it's the first race of the season. And we've had no incidents so far. And this is it. The Bahrain Grand Prix. It's lights out. And away that was quick. We go. Lights out, away we go. And we're looking from the clear. Battle is already losing out a little bit. Oh, okay. That was a move from Sainz. Vettel is down in fourth now. Already kind of losing out, but you can see he's already faster than Leclerc. And he is a little bit faster than Sainz, but just a little oh, bit too Aston little. Uh, we're actually going to slow down Alonso a bit here, and we're going to have Vettel get back up into second. Like because, uh, well, we do want them to DRS off each other, basically. So we'll speed things along here. We'll see how long Battle used to get past Science. He had a bad corner there by the looks of things, but he is past now. So let's have Battle use deploy. We'll see if he can use deploy here now to catch up to there. Alonso. Although we will probably slow Alonso down a slight amount here. Just to make it easier for both of our drivers. DRS enabled. DRS has now been enabled. Um, things are looking good. Both drivers are with each other. And we can just speed things up now. Because we are in that very, very dominating position. Where we have already four seconds down to third. Everyone here started on the softs. So we already have a tire advantage. Because we saved two tires in qualifying. I really feel like the AI should uh, consider doing the same thing. It is very, very powerful after all. And that should also make it make us that we have the possibility of doing soft, medium, soft. Whereas the AI might not. To have been a so we'll have to see how the lap times are looking once they do their first pit stops. Currently we are lapping close to two seconds faster. About one and a half second really. A little bit slower this uh, past lap, just about a second. So we are doing well. Stappen has done some shenanigans here, he's down in 19th, I didn't actually see what happened. Is he just slow? Does he have damage? Because he seems to be losing out the car in front, which is Latifi. Revving looks good. He has done something, because as you can see, he did start higher up. Okay. That's a bit of an awkward one. I do not know what happened there. I missed it. Apologies. <laughs> We are looking good. We're already almost a full pit stop ahead. And we still have plenty of tire life left, as you can see. We're probably going to run these softs down to the to the limit, really. Because there's no reason not to. And let's check lap times of Verstappen. As you can see, he is just he's about the same speed as the Haas. And that is concerning. And we'll have a look now, uh, once the other have pitted here. How are the lap times looking? So... 
As you can see, uh, let's see, Hard Runner Perez. Who we're interested in. We need to wait for. Again, we're going to run these to the bottom. Perez 158, 138. So on fresh hards, 39. Um, on fresh hards, they're about as quick as we are on basically worn softs. So we do want to stay away from the hards. We'll do Alonso this lap. I should have done them a bit. Uh, a bit quicker. Vettel is going to suffer a lot. Um, yeah. Vettel's going to suffer. There's no other way around this. <clears throat> we will slow Alonso down though so that they are together, basically. So let's get that underway. We will have him conserve. And that should slow him down enough that Vettel will not have lost out too much here on... Uh, might have to also deploy a little bit so he gets up behind. There we go, that should be close enough. We basically want them to be together. Again, it's uh, for the best... It's the best choice for our team. We'll have to see if Verstappen can make up his places here. She markets to know that Williams... Uh, Boris is doing well for the Mercs in 6th. Hamilton 10th. Like uh, Straw with a lockup. The Alpine. But yeah, as you can see, we're already 30 seconds ahead, halfway through the race. So we might have gone a little bit too hard here and made a monster car again to some degree. And we'll also be able to go into softs for the final stint, which will. To be fair, though. Some of it is the car, I will not deny that, but also a lot of it here is actually the tires. Because, as you can see, we have Paris on the hards, we have Leclerc on the hards. And we'll have to see if they go on the softs at the end, but as you can see, we're now in the 35s while they're running 37s. So we're gaining about two seconds a lap, and that is intense. We're also about to start lapping here with uh, Latifi and Schumacher. Lock up. Plenty of time life left. Don't need to do anything. Is that a lock up? Gasly with a lock up. Not too worrisome. Head window has been entered, but again, we have so much tire life left, and we are just still so much quicker than any other car around here that we do not need to worry about tire life at all. We can take a chill. And even if we didn't, we are two pit stops player of third place, so we don't really need to, to worry too much here. I think we will pit Alonso at probably the 40 Denmark. I think that will make it safe so that we do not uh, hit each other. And as I say, that battle has a lockup, although that one was pretty. That one was pretty small. Wasn't really a problem at all. Taking a look again. It involves Sebastian Vettel. Oh, and there's the lockup. That's the last thing. That's the least scary lockup I've seen. Although, if it was a little bit closer, that could have been dangerous. Uh, we're going to push Vettel. Sorry, not Vettel. Alonso, one more lap. Then we'll get him in for the softs. And then we do the same now for Vettel on the following one. We actually have an interesting train behind us, too. There we go, that should be the pit stops done. And... I think we are good now to just run to the end. New fastest lap. Vettel is four seconds behind, but at this stage, honestly, I don't care too much. And the main reason behind me not caring too much is uh, very, very simple. Battle costs money on wins, Alonso does not. So I'm fine with this current scenario. He is also a bit slower. He's losing about three tenths per lap. Uh, which is unfortunate, but it's just a sad reality of the game. I don't think Vettel would be three tenths slower around Bahrain. On average, honestly. Especially not on better tires at this stage. So uh, it's a bit concerning. But nothing we can do about that, and I don't think we will. Maybe three seconds gain a lap. 
We might lap uh, Paris as well here. Science is going to be a bit difficult. Or maybe not. One this lap. Will be our last lap. Barely Perez gets away with it. That's the first race of the yeah, season. Um, your domination, basically. And again, might have developed the car a bit too hard. But uh, I might just be in a bit too, bit too much of a competitive mindset for this game. Really make it, uh, make it super entertaining, unfortunately. Third and fifth here for Ferrari. Fourth and eight for Red Bull. Stop and made his way back up. Hamilton with a sixth in Alpha and Bora seventh. We have Ocon and Norris finishing out the points for Alpine and McLaren. We're back to the old point system. And in the driver championship here, top 10 doesn't really change. Instructors, we're leading. Ferrari second, Red Bull third, Alfa Romeo fourth, and Mercedes fifth with Alpine and McLaren. So they're looking good. That is actually a surprising amount of development for Vettel here, honestly. He did 31 successful overtakes, 49 defends, so I guess that uh, explains it. I guess Alonso was struggling to get by him. Uh, 5.7 million uh, gained here, about an extra million from incentives, which is nice. That should put us on a good course this season. I might have gone a little bit too hard on development again. Might have been, might have made it a little bit less competitive than it should be. So let me know what you feel. Should we continue this past this season? Or should I set up a game where we do a bunch of limitations to actually keep us in midfield for a bit longer? I'm thinking that we might do another Williams game uh, where we get Stroll and Latifi and like do a Canadian... Uh, Canadian Zero to Hero? Ah, that's mean. That's not actually true. Uh, Canadian Canada Challenge? Something like that. And we also add some restrictions like... I'm, I'm allowed to use, say, Intense, but I'm not allowed to move the sliders myself. I'm only allowed to use presets. Things like that. I think that could make things a bit more interesting. But uh, give me your thoughts and we'll see what we do. Uh, Post-race. Congratulations. The board is happy. I would hope so. And we're right on here to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. No problems in our first race. Q3 and Q2 should be no issue for our drivers, to be honest. And we do have 10 million in the bank. I don't think we're going to spend that money yet. Uh, I think we're going to save it. Even so, I don't think we have any facilities that we could, you know, spend it on. This is 27 million. 29, 11 and a half, 12, so... We still have some work ahead of us before we can do that. We can refurbish this one, though, before I forget. Let's get the race sim refurbished. And also the helipad. I should have done that a bit earlier. Memorabilia, tour center, hospitality, boardroom. Again, these aren't that much of a problem. We won't have any problems with team attractiveness, in all honesty. Morale could be something, but I don't think it matters too much, so I will not be investing into it. We actually have points here for our race engineers. Put it into pit crew management for both of them. And Michelle here, ranked up to 86. Very good. With that, I think we are ready now to just head on to Saudi Arabia. On to Jeddah. Car. Oh, a nasty crash there. And that was a bitter blow for the team. And it may have really hurt their overall chances. As you can see, we have a red flag and crash in Wally here from Alonso. Had a bit of a unfortunate uh, slip and slide, so to speak. And he has been retired from Wally. Here we are at the start of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Uh, we just had qualifying. I also had some technical issues. Um, had a huge amount of encoding lag. So I have no idea what is causing that. I'll try and figure it out during this... Uh, in this race, I have my task manager open on the second monitor. We'll have to see what is drawing resources because that was just very, very weird. Never seen that even during streaming. Uh, but with that out of the way, let's get into the race itself. If you there is any lag in the recording, I do apologize though because uh, it was suffering 
quite a bit. So I might need to update my drivers. It might be something else, but uh, hopefully here yeah, we can we can make it work somehow. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see. But uh, we had an accident in qualifying, as you can see. Alonso crashed out, caused a red flag. Uh, I'll have to see just how bad the recording is, but you might have already seen it. Probably just a crash, though. He crashed out. Uh, it happens. Nothing much we can really do about that. Bethel qualified first. Uh, again, same tie for all three qualies. Still pretty dominating uh, result. Sorry, I'm a little bit flustered. I'm a little bit out of it. My apologies. Medium to hard, uh, hard to medium, or uh, to stop with soft, hard, and medium are the expected strategies here. And the compound performance is uh, about four tenths advantage. Well, not even that. A little bit over three tenths advantage for the soft to the medium, leading to them really being competitive for about 10 laps before they start losing out in terms of time. The medium to hard is another three tenths. Again, uh, three hundredths difference there, meaning that the mediums are quicker than the hards for about 10 laps. So if you can run the hards for 20, 30 laps, you might gain something, but uh, it's a bit of a difficult one to uh, to decide in all honesty. Time consideration here. We have about two thirds chance of a safety car. Hit lane, same as Bahrain, 25 seconds. So we'll have to see what we do. The first thing we do want to look at though is Alonso's car. As you can see, he absolutely wrecked his gearbox. So the replay didn't show us the entire incident because it only showed us him sliding for us. Unfortunately, so uh, I assume that he has had a spin hit his butt, well, the butt of the car, and that damaged uh, everything. So I think we're just going to relegate that gearbox to practice already. Slap a new one in. There's no penalty for that since we already, it's part of our allocation. So that is perfectly fine. What we can also do though is we can go into our sponsors here, race targets, position gain, and for Alonso. We'll set that to uh, second place. I think he'll be able to get up to at least second. Uh, Vettel will probably have too much of an advantage from first. So we could do this. Um, but honestly, is it really worth it though? That's the thing. It's not really worth it for us to do that, in all honesty. And the reason for that is very simple. Vettel's, Vettel has a one and a half million win guarantee so I think Alonso will catch up to him so there's no real point to, to doing something like that honestly and we'll set up strategy here now we could do soft hard medium and the question is can we do I think we'll just start medium and then go hard to the end or even start hard and then go medium but I think we'll do this it should be okay for battle no problem and as you can see the time charts have been, uh, they've been fixed. We'll do this, it's a bit safer. But it now shows you the expected times on the hard compound. Now, for Alonso here, I'm thinking that we do something a bit more aggressive. We do soft, medium, medium maybe. And the reason why we want to be this aggressive, current time is at zero. Um, yeah, we'll fix that, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, you can see it's estimated to be three seconds slower and I can accept that we basically want to be able to regain positions though that's the thing and we'll put in one extra for Vettel he doesn't actually have that much extra durability to play with so I think we'll just tune it down a bit and we'll deploy from the get-go for, for Alonso overtake and push and that should be perfectly all right. I have once again forgotten to mute my uh, mobile phone. My apologies. But yeah, I think we're good here. Uh, it's going to be a bit more of an interesting race due to the crash. And of course, the fact that they're running different strategies. And I'll have to keep my eyes open here and see if we get some encoding light. Like, because that was pretty, pretty weird. For the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Kyoto here in fourth. What's the big surprise? It's lights out. And away we go. Lights out, away we go. I guess we'll have a look at the first few laps here from Vettel's perspective. Uh, sorry, Alonso's perspective. Other than him, it's Stroll and Schumacher on the soft. He's already done a double overtake there, first couple of corners. And he's now having a run on Paris, thinking twice about Good it. Job. And we'll have to see it now. 
because everyone's on mediums or hards in the top 10. Aston Martin are moving up the field. Let's, Let's uh, rewatch that because that, because that was a pretty good so move. This, was the Aston Martin. this gets both the uh, both the cars around the corner there. Very nice. Um, Vettel is already a second in front, so let's just go neutral and we'll just let him run his own race. We'll be focusing Alonso here, trying to get him back up to second. And that shouldn't be too much of a concern for us, I feel. Paris in front, then Russell and Bottas. And in terms of overtaking opportunities, there should be a few up this uh, straight line here now. is weaving a bit there, so makes it dip more difficult for Leclerc. Can he send it down into the corner down here is now going to be the big question. It looks like he is planning it. Change his mind. This is good, come on. This is good, come on, yeah. I think we'll speed things up here. Uh, I don't think we'll struggle too much with getting up to the front. It'll be if he can catch up to Vettel or not, really. That'll be the challenge here. <clears throat> we'll also have to try and manage the ERS so we don't run out immediately. There we go. Russell has been overtaken. And we get Paris as well. There we are. DRS and we are now running out of ERS. So we're just going to put it to neutral and allow it to run its own course. Uh, Battle has about four seconds there. out front. Same place. tire. He's running one and a half seconds quicker than car in second. That's uh, that's insanity on the same tire, really. Alonso still in six has Bottas ahead of him. I don't think he'll struggle too much to get by. Already did. And then it's just hunting down uh, signs here. This music right now reminds me a lot about Rim, of Rimworld. I just had to mention it. Alonso up into like third now. Martin Very good. Gained a race position. Let's see what happened there. Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. Good overtake. And we're now up into second. Honestly, we're going to harvest a little bit here for Alonso. He's going to be fighting with Stappen due to it. Uh, but we're going to harvest a little bit. We're going to pull away from... Honestly, it's already done it while harvesting. So we can put him back to neutral. We wanted to pull that second. Uh, but we'll have to see now. How is his lap times going to look versus battles? Can he make something happen here? So the stint is going to be, what, 29 laps? And then we have 19 might tune this around a little bit. But he is running faster than Vettel by half a second. So he will potentially catch up here. Two tenths that lap. Well, a little bit less. Still gaining. Uh, one ten. Vettel is actually running. Vettel was clinical day. He was running... Uh, basically running uh, identical laps there for a second. That was uh, a bit awkward to look at. Let's get Alonso in for his first pit stop. That puts him down into 15th place. Uh, it'll probably be a bit longer before the other pits though. So potentially here yeah, having him stay out would have been the better choice. But I don't think he'll struggle too much to overtake the cars around him. He'll be slowed down a bit, of course. I still think he'll, uh, he'll make the moves here. I should have considered where he'd come out before I pitted him because if we pushed a couple more laps we might have come out ahead of Gasly instead. So uh, that's on me. He's actually kind of stuck now. That went quick in terms of uh, using the entire ERS battery. <laughs> it's up to 12th, 11th, fighting a bit. We have some pit stops. On server takes Ocon. Up to 7th now. We're going ahead of his own train. And we still have a lot of time here for battle before he needs to pit. Alonso up into third. And battle is still a pit stop ahead. Again, Alonso is going to have to pit again. So, it's a bit of a rough one, honestly. 
I think Vettel will probably win this one, but that is uh, perfectly okay for us. It's just a bit expensive, is all. Yellow flag? What happened? Gasly with a lockup happens. And Russell is trying to hold on to Alonso here. We've actually had a full crash. Uh, just a yellow flag crash, though. Show. Here's the replay. Let's take another look. There we have Joe. And there. Still looking all right. Uh, we should get battle in though. We have around him a bit longer than I in intended, but he'll still come out in front. We're still looking okay. Uh, for Alonso's sake, he's going to need a safety car most likely. Battle will just be that much quicker. As you can see, already on the fresh hards, he is quicker. So uh, keep that in mind, uh, potentially here. Alonso is going to suffer quite a bit. That's just how it'd be. Now, Russell um, is potentially going to be a bit of a problem here for Alonso. Need a little bit more of a gap before we pit, I feel. Currently, we have 22 seconds. We should get out between Russell and Hamilton if we do pit. Should be all right. And I'm thinking we do one more lap on these mediums. An extra lap. Uh, or should we? I don't think we need to. Let's just get him onto the, the new mediums here. And he should come out ahead of Russell by quite the margin here. Should be alright. Now let's see how he's doing in terms of lap times versus, say, battle. 31.08. 31.9. A second gained. Um, he's going to be losing out though in terms of you know, tire loss per lap. So even if he gains one second, he doesn't have enough uh, laps to make it happen. 13 laps to go. He is about a second faster a lap. So even so, still doesn't actually stand a chance. No way. Looks pretty chill so far. Looks like we don't really need to do anything. Uh, times are also starting to become a bit close to each other. Seven tenths now. I am also having a bit of a look here on my second monitor just to see what was happening there with the uh, with the errors. I assume what happened when I recorded Alonso's crash in Q3 uh, was actually a driver crash, is what I'd assume, because I haven't seen anything. Close to it now. We've had a competitive crash. They're both pitting this lap. Does that mean it's a red flag? Yeah. That could make things interesting, but I think it will just end the race because we're on lap 48. Let's have a look. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Okay, I understand why that is a red flag. That was close that he took out the Merc too. I assume that is actually what happened to... That's probably what happened to Alonso. Really because it didn't show me the entire, uh, entire replay. I assume that is how Alonso crashed you then. Red flag, left 49 out of 50. This actually plays into Alonso's hands, uh, so to speak. Uh, we're going to put both of them on softs. And I'm just going to allow them to fight it out here. Honestly, science this out. And I think we're just going to put everything on neutral. And we'll see how this battle goes. Deja vu here as the drivers once again face the countdown. And it's lights out. This and away is we go. the final lap. So we're having some proper F1 drama here. Uh, we'll just leave everything as is. And I'll allow them to fight out. Let's watch from Alonso's perspective since he's second. 
And we'll see if he can steal something from uh, Malonso. Everyone send us off here, so Albon actually has a bit of an advantage. High advantage. <clears throat> but it looks like Vettel has already gotten pretty handily away here. Which is pretty good. I'm seeing a bit of encoding lag, but not a lot, so... My apologies for mumbling about this during recording. But I'd be very sad if I recorded four races and then realized half of them were unusable due to my computer being silly. I am seeing that F1 Manager is using a lot more of my CPU than before. So there might have been something during that last update that got balked. Is Alonso going to try and send it here? Probably. Did he just get him into the final corner? Oh, drag race to the finish line. Battle wins, Alonso second. Great job, everyone. Thank you, guys. That is probably the closest finish I've well seen done, so man. far in this game. You can literally see a few centimeters ahead, basically. That's a great shot. Sebastian Vettel mm. sure knows how so yeah, Alonso made up 8 places after his Q3 red flag, 700s between them. That is uh, really, really close. I guess this is on interval basis, seeing that the, you know, the time between. Um, a bit weird though, honestly. But yeah, uh, Alonso here with just 800s behind... Uh, Behind Vet sorry, seven hundreds behind battle. No, that's not even hundreds, that's thousands. Seven thousands behind. Jesus, I am a silly goose. But yeah, a good uh, a good race. We have Leclerc here, third, science crash out of the other Ferrari, Rebel fourth, and Ricciardo actually managed to hold on to his position here basically. He lost that one. That's still a good result for McLaren, so we might have a look at how their car is performing. Ford as six, Russell eighth. We have uh, Paris uh, seventh. Alban in 9th, so he kept his position, and Hamilton in 10th. With that, the driver championship, we have some changes. Leclerc moves up to 3rd. Uh, Alonso is still ahead of Vettel, based on fastest lap points, more than anything else. And we have Estapa moving up to 5th. We have Ricciardo moving up to 8th. Russell 10th, Alban 12th, and Latifi Stroll moves up due to two positions, not due to points. Constructors, Mercedes and McLaren move up, Alfa Romeo and Alpine move down. Not much to say about development, an okay amount. Don't really get much of it anyways due to the drivers having low growth modifiers. We do pay a bit of an extra amount of money here to battle in driver bonuses, not that we do about that. Ending up with about 4 million this race. Thanks a little bit. But uh, those 7,000s cost us 1.5 million. Kind of happy I didn't gamble on top of that, to be fair. Uh, suspension has been manufactured. I believe we already slapped everything on our car, though. I'm just going to double check. Uh, as you can see, it did destroy a chassis. Destroyed a front wing. The rear wing was good, though. Was safe. Destroyed a side pod. Uh, I guess we should manufacture the floors. I don't think he's destroyed both of them. Uh, destroy the uh, suspension as well. So yeah, we had a lot of damage there to the car. Honestly, I guess he was totally wrecked then. He did basically the same thing that Blinds did, but it just didn't show me on the first replay. That's on me. Uh, but yeah, good result in Saudi Arabia. Still got a 1-2, even with the crash and red flag in Q3. So I think we can be fairly, fairly content uh, rather than being happy with it. It's an okay result, all things considered. Manufacturing completed for side pods. We have refurbished our helipad, which is good. We're gonna have another suspension lower stock. Yeah, I know, but here's the thing. I believe we are currently researching a suspension. Why not? But we will. So for now we'll live with the uh, with the prospect of just having one extra suspension if need be we'll emergency manufacture. 
I am a bit greedy, so to speak. So we will be saving money where we can. Car is still number one on everything. We are still lacking cooling, though. That's just how it'd be. And I think the AI has maybe a bit too much of a focus on cooling. I did want to check how the McLaren was looking, though, in terms of, well, against other cars. It actually is really good at cornering, which explains why it's that high up. Decent cornering. It's a bit slow. Well, not too slow, really. But it's actually pretty close to us here in terms of cornering compared to the other cars. So if they fix the low speed cornering, they could actually be a bit of a challenger. It's going to be interesting to watch. I assume that they made an underfloor, maybe, or a front wing. That has uh, boosted their stats a bit. That's the only way I could imagine that happening. Qualifying well, here for the Australian Grand Prix. We're going to go for a 1 2, but drives in Q2. Finish position again, 1 2. And I don't think we need to change anything else. With that, I think we are ready now to just head into the Australian Grand Prix. Just want to have a look before we do that, though, on when the projects are done. Six days, 14 days, and 26 days. So within the month here, we're going to get all of our current projects finished. Let's head to Australia. Here we are. We're ready for Australia. We qualify first and second, two times between our lads. Uh, expected strategies here are most likely a one stopper, potentially a two stopper. No real use of the soft, as you can see. It's medium and hards all the way. Compound performance uh, kind of explains this. As you can see, the softs have uh, 1400s of degradation a lap, which is 700s more than the mediums. And they only have half a second or five tenths advantage to begin with. So they don't have a lot of competitive uh, room here. They'll be faster for six or seven laps. But that's also when they start running out of durability. Because the uh, strain here on especially the softs is quite high. From the medium to the hards we have about uh, three tenths. A little bit more. And it's just two hundreds between them. So within 15 laps the hards will become the better race tire. And that way you can understand why... A one stop a medium to hard might be the play here. We also have a uh, very low chance of a safety car, 0%, but it could still always still happen. 25 uh, second pit lane. So, with that in mind, I think we are going to go ahead and join one of these uh, strategies. As you can see, we don't really have the durability to make that work. We could do medium hard medium, and according to this, it'll be about 6 7 seconds slower. But we do have the advantage here that we are starting 1-2. We have the better car. We can overfuel by the 300 grams we're allowed. And that way we can just push from the get-go. We'll have our driver's three drive out in clean air. And even if this strategy is supposedly slower, we'll still win out because we will be saving time out front. So that is what we'll do. Very simple, very straightforward. And with that, let's get into the race. Now we should have good weather. Brace yourselves for the Australian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. And away we go, indeed. Like Leclerc had an okay start. Might actually be sending enough battle here. But it looks like we are safe now, I dare say. Um, we got past the first corner. And as you can see, we're already gaining some distance here. I would say, unless we have a spin or something like that, we should be, uh, our two boys should be good here. Uh, I'm going to tune them down now because we're about a second ahead. We don't need to use all of our ERS. And as you can see, everyone is on either medium. And we have three drivers on the hard here. The Williams drivers and Gasly. So this is kind of what we expect. We'll have to see what happens in terms of pit stops. If they emulate our strategy or if... Uh, they do uh, one stopper. ERS enabled. enabled indeed. We'll also tune down the fuel usage. Don't need to use as much. And as you can see, we are out 1 2. Then we have the Ferraris. Then we have Bottas, Norris, Hamilton, Verstappen, and Ricciardo. So, uh, a bit interesting. And once again, because we keep on setting fastest laps every lap, we keep on getting pulled back. Which is very annoying, honestly. But Bottas is making moves, he's fighting the Ferraris, and by fighting he might actually have put himself into Jeopardy too. Williams are slow unfortunately, you can see them falling behind the rest of the pack. Zenoda already half a minute off the pace, 10 laps in. 
That's a bit rough. And we have seven seconds on third place. So we're currently running about a second quicker. Well, less this time. Seven tenths and five tenths. Bit window has been entered, but I think we're gonna we're gonna be pushing these tires a bit further than uh, we need. Again, uh, it takes about 15 laps before the hard become better than the medium. So we can push a couple more laps here, uh, probably up until lap 18, 19, probably before we pit. No need to immediately pick. So we can see that Leclerc is definitely doing the same thing we are because he just pitted onto the hard on, you know, our expected lap. So we can expect that Leclerc is doing something similar to us. I think we get Alonso in this lap. We still have a lot of tie life left. We could have left him out. But we get him in this lap and then we get Vettel in this following one. That should be perfectly okay. I believe this will actually break his strategy. So we'll have to remember to switch tires there towards the end. But it shouldn't be an issue, honestly. Now we came out, as you can see here, in second and third. Which is good. We have Verstappen in front of us. Verstappen seems to be trying to do a one-stopper. He's going to be... Well, never mind, he pitted. I thought he would be running those tires way more into the ground, but he did not. So, uh, we don't really have anything we need to be concerned about then. Again, we could push a bit of fuel here. We have a lot to spare for both our drivers. Let's lighten our cars a bit. And as you can see, we already have 15 seconds on the Ferraris. And really no no need to be concerned up with anything here purple sectors being set as well half a second faster which is like kind of what we are getting used to here halfway halfway through the race let's say everything's going according to plan what as seventh hamilton tenth gasly is actually up into six but how is his tires looking yeah he he's running out of tire Yes, they might actually be doing a one stop here. I don't remember what he started on. But I would expect it to have been the hard. We are running out of fuel though, so we'll tune both down. Mostly just so that I don't forget to tune down Vettel later. And there we go. Gasly has now pitted. He's pitted onto the medium. I assume he'll be running those to the end. That's really the only thing that would make uh, sense, I feel. And luckily, as you can see, Vettel's uh, pit strategy did not break. Now. It's a pit window, okay. Well, we're gonna slow down Alonso a bit here because Vettel is falling behind. And I want them to drive together. It's just safer that way. Well, not necessarily safer. They have a big chance of crashing into each other. It's faster, to some degree, I feel personally. I don't know if it's actually factual or if it's just me, you know, having a feeling, but I think it's faster. Uh, since it's just 17 laps to go, let's get them onto the mediums. There's no need to like stretch it out any further. We've had a spin here for Verstappen. Now here we see Max Verstappen. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Looks like he's driving relatively solo though there, so he should just get right back into it. Although he is behind Ocon now, so I guess Ocon caught up with them. Ocon and Bodas. And... We'll see now how Vettel looks after he pits, in terms of Alonso keeping up. Alonso is a bit in front. We are going to slow him a little bit down here. And hopefully that will allow Vettel to easily catch up. New faster slap. Vettel is actually losing out, as you can see, but now he's gaining. Probably stuck behind Sonoda a bit longer than uh, what we'd like. That's just the uh, that's just the nature of the game. Oh, multiple cars have crashed. See here, is this a safety car? Nope. I wonder who was involved. Uh, probably like the Williams, by looks of things. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh yeah, that's rough. Williams into Haas. That's a pretty rough hit. The price is no safety car as a result. Yeah, that's those boys uh, race for ruined. I think we'll just go back to standard. It's 10 laps to go. It uh, doesn't matter too much. Although, Vettel is right up behind him. There we go. We'll give him a bit of a fighting chance and we'll see how this goes. We're a pit stop ahead. We could secure 
a super pass slap if we really wanted to. The only problem with that would be potential back markers. Uh, but I think we are we're good here. We're just going to allow it to run to the end. And I think we will not interfere too much in this uh, other than what we've already done. I think that would be an okay thing. So this is last lap. This is last lap. Last lap. Looks like Battle got a huge gap. And he'll probably win. Yeah. So that is checkered flag. But you can Honestly, I should have allowed Alonso to win just because of the monetary. <laughs> but uh, this is okay. And then we just have Battle laughing in the background. Beautiful. Yeah, I want to. As we expect, tent behind uh, was 600s earlier, but I guess that's fine. 40 seconds behind, we find Leclerc. I don't know when they changed this or if I click something. There we go, leader interval. So Schumacher 213 behind total. Ferrari 3 4, we have McLaren 5th. Good result for them. They do have a good car, though, to be fair. 6 for Red Bull, 7 for Alpine, uh, 8 for Bottas and Mercedes, 9th and 10th for the Alphas. Driver Championship, we have Vettel moving up into 1st now. Sainz 4th, and now the Norris up into 8th, Gas up to 13th, and the Constructors, we have no changes. Development is alright, decent amount of points for both of them, although again, they barely get any. We still made 4.8 million, almost 4.9, even with the, you know, the negatives from the driver bonuses, cancelled out by the performance incentives and guarantees. That's good. Again, still expensive, but we'll live with it. Race sim has been refurbished. Nice. And we believe we have a regulation vote for minor techno technical regulation for 25. Uh, the minimal regulation, moderate. So it's basically... I believe everything is getting hit by either a 5 or a 10% modifier here. So we'll go for... Honestly, if we go for moderate, that would actually be better for us. Because the AI is really bad at answering those. So I should have wanted minimal to help the AI, to be fair. The AI is really, really poor at uh, doing focus research. They just do everything kind of randomly. And focus everything the same to some degree. We have the new chassis here. Uh... Ready? I believe we are lacking chassises in here. Yeah, we only have a couple. We'll manufacture four of these. That should be okay. And as I said, it will be focusing our designs on the suspension, the chassis, and uh, the side pods this season, I feel. It would be nice to get them a little bit further up into the, uh, the expertise row, so to speak. Uh, we gain about 2% here from doing that. Now we're looking on the chassis. About 3-4%. So again, I want to try and boost these up to about 80%. Not 80%, 70%, 65%. Uh, 65 to 70%, let's just say it like that. Let's do another here for the... Uh, for the chassis, honestly. We can do that. And we'll do intense. That should be okay. We will start doing research, though, instead. Once research opens, which is actually fairly, fairly soon we're also going to do one more design for the suspension before that though larry grooves have been scouted we cannot propose a contract but we have scouted him uh, i believe the same here for carla costa and our contract we'll have to see in a couple of seasons if he if she is hireable and we're gonna scout this lad too because he's the highest average so far there we go We'll see what the changes to the regulations are. We have side pods design completed as well. Uh, technical regulations have been... Research has been started. Minor technical regulations go through. So just 5%. That's okay for us. And we'll be putting two points into reactions here for good old Dennis Hauger. Now, in terms of staff, do they have points? They do. Put that into underfloor. Put it into... Yes, high speed downforce. Get that max. And our... Uh, Stuff. It does not have any points, unfortunately. Memorabilia in poor condition, again. If you look at it from a prestige point, we should really be, you know, refurbishing these, but we don't really need to. But we're not going to. Which is a horrible take, honestly. 
Um, but it's also one that I stand by. For now, though, uh, I think we're going to make another side pod. So we're not going to manufacture these. And honestly, we could start researching now. Uh, but as I said, we are going to be making a few more parts. The fact that everything is hit by 5% though is a bit concerning. So I'm thinking we make the suspension as I said, and then we just do research for the rest of the season. I'll have to see how the gain sign comparison. But we are definitely going to be making uh, one more one more uh, suspension here for sure. That's also the more expensive part, so let's get that on the way. Next race is here. Gonna go for full payouts here on the uh, preparation for the performance. Last slap. And I think we're ready to head off to Emilia Magna. Let's go to Italy. Here we are. We're ready for our next race. Italy. We qualify 1 2 as usual. Qualifying this time was a bit more interesting because we had two wet qualies. Uh, quality 1 was wet. So was uh, quality 3. But uh, we made it through easily. What is expected here is a one-stopper or a potential aggressive two-stopper. We'll have to see what we do. In terms of compound performance, they're all pretty close. Soft to medium is uh, a little bit more than a tent. Degradation is 300, so in theory, uh, you're only faster for three, four, maybe five laps if you're lucky, before you start losing out to the medium on the soft. And on the hard, there's uh, just one hundred between medium and... Uh, hard in terms of degradation but there's a 3 tenth difference so the mediums will most likely be quicker for most of its life cycle uh, at least 30 laps so that's been interesting to keep in mind if we have a look at time considerations it's a long pit lane at 29 seconds it's about 50 percent chance of safety car and with that in mind we'll be setting up the strategy now we did have a wet qualifying we will not have a wet race so that is good and i think we actually go for the soft medium medium strategy it seems like the most fun one to me and we'll do that for both drivers we also have an extra set of softs if we feel like it later on so we'll be going for this one it's pretty basic and we'll just overfuel two and a half kilograms that's fine that means we can push the uh push the car the entire way go full usage and deploy and with that i think we are ready here to uh to get into it Let's get started on the Emilia Rebecca Grand Prix. The drivers have now taken. The crowd are on their feet in anticipation of this the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Here we are, we're going. I think I see some, uh, yeah, mostly medium and hard tires for our competitors, which is. Uh, it's a bit interesting, let's just put it like that. We have Stroll and Tsunoda on the softs as well. So those are doing two stoppers for sure. We'll have to see what kind of strategies the other ones are doing, but I would expect it to be one stoppers. We have survived the start here. We already have half a second between Vettel and Verstappen, so already we are getting quite quickly away. Now, before this race, I did actually change some components for both cars. They both have a new engine. They both have... Well, now Vettel also has a new gearbox. Alonso is not as lucky. He only had... Well, he still has a recently recently new gearbox. And because of that, I actually forgot to turn off the ERS. So let's just have both our boys harvest for a little bit here. DRS is we also enabled. do have DRS. DRS but I want him to harvest about 60-70% maybe. Next, this, these two next corners should potentially do it. Or maybe not. There we go. That should be enough to, to run with it, and we'll just push fuel. That's fine. In terms of time here, we are four seconds in, and we already have seven seconds down to clear. In terms of lap times, we're running about a second, second and a half quicker than the cars behind. So uh, already we are getting a uh, a rather big advantage. And here we see Magnus in the lockup, down in 16th. And we actually have a slap in here, Kind of running away from Leclerc and Norris, so... Uh, or rather, Norris holding up uh, the cars behind to allow Leclerc and Battle to kind of run away. Do not a two surface lockup, ends up in the back. Sorry about that, let's continue. And here we go. Yeah, my apologies, there we are. I thought someone knocked on my door, but uh, there was no one there. 
Pitch window has been entered. Um, we're going to push these me mediums, these softs a little bit, I think. Should be perfectly fine. And this happened already 20 seconds almost behind. 19. There we go, 20. So if we push a little bit further, I think we can pit um, without losing position. And that is what we'll be going for here. We are still faster than the cars behind us by a decent margin here. So I think we can push for a couple more laps. I think we get Alonso in on this following lap. And then we get Vettel in on a lap after. That should be enough, hopefully, to uh, get out in front. And Alonso did just barely not make it there. He's behind Leclerc, but should have no problems overtaking. And I would assume that battle too will have no problems. Alonso is still fighting Leclerc though, so we might need to slow down battle here a bit. And we also need to tune down the usage of fuel. We just had a car run wide. So Alonso is actually kind of stuck behind Leclerc. There we go. See, so ahead now. Gonna deploy some ERS. Run a bit away. Go back to neutral, and we'll see now if we can catch up to battle. Then we tune battle up too. There we go. Now they can both th both try and run away again. So these guys still haven't pitted, and I have to say that we have our first round. We have Verstappen pitting, and uh, well, you can see our lap time: 16, 17, 3, 17, 4 versus 19, 18, 9. So we are still a lot faster than the cars around us. We're reaching the halfway point of the race. Uh, again, a pretty chill affair. Not really anything to uh, write home about, unfortunately. And as I said, I'll have to see what we do with this series. If we continue or if we uh, slow down and do something else. Um, I might try and do just a challenge for myself. See how, how high up I can push uh, the different teams within a season. I think that could be something uh, that's a bit fun to do. Uh, um, but other than that, I'm, I'm a little bit uncertain what I want to do. I do want to get back to streaming too. Might have something happening on Wednesday. I'm a bit unsure. But uh, we'll, we'll take it as it goes. I see that I put up both of these lads a bit too late. They have about 20 laps on these tires. Uh, let them push one or two more laps, then we'll pit them. That way they ran about 50-50 on them. And we have a pit stop down to third. So it is safe to do so. I'd say we pit uh, Alonso this lap. Then we pit Vettel on the following lap. And that should be A-OK. -okay. 34 seconds in the pits. 34 seconds for both of them. They should come out together. They are. With that, I think we just now run this to, to the end, really. Schumacher with the running wide. The Williams are not having a good day, but uh, Was that a lock up on the track? that's just unfortunately how it be sometimes. That's the new fastest lap. Cronin very happy. Looks like there's been a lock up. Lock up for Leclerc. But yeah, we have about 40 seconds. We could do another piss off if we really wanted to. Um, I don't think anyone is going to snatch fastest lap here because it's faster than 15.7. And that is two seconds faster than what most people are doing. A second faster than Leclerc. So I think fastest lap is safe here. We could say pit battle just to try and get fastest lap. But I don't think we, we really need to. Yeah, Alonso is getting left behind though going through the, uh, the back markers. Giardo here with a penalty. He is still running though. Yes, he hit Hamilton, maybe. A bit unsure. This did this Was result in a safety car? No. Cars, I think. Let's see what happened there. Now just take a look at the McLaren. Looks like uh, again Ricciardo hit one of the. Uh, Alphas, and I would assume it's Hamilton seeing that uh, he's the one behind. But yeah, 
Uh, once again, I guess we could have Alonso just pit here and secure fastest lap. Sure. Let's have him pit on, I guess, lap 61. Then he has the 62 as warm up. Then he can push on the final lap. Let's do it for fun. Uh, he's not going to catch up to Vettel anyways, unless there's an accident. We'll also have him harvest. I should have him harvest a little, little bit earlier if we're doing I this. Someone's run wide. He is going to have to deal with the back markers, though, in this fastest lap attempt. It's just going to be a bit Last lap. unfortunate. Last lap. Okay, copy. A bit early to go full attack, but we'll do it. Go neutral on the ERS. Then we will deploy from the second half and outwards. There we are. Battle with the lockup. Did he have damage? Here's He's the on. So this was the Aston Martin. Well, they go wide, that would definitely right have given Alonso the advantage. That's on me. Alonso would have won that if we didn't, you know, do the funny for fastest lap here. That's a bit unfortunate. Thank you. Car was amazing today. Would have gotten that by a long shot, so that's on me. Uh, but yeah, 1 to 14. Um, again, over two seconds faster than anyone else. Well, also one, one and a half seconds faster than Battle. So, uh, a bit unfortunate, but that's just how things be. Uh, Ferrari with third and fifth, Red Bull with fourth and sixth, Mercedes with seven and eight. Then we have Norris, uh, nine for McLaren, Ocon, tenth. And unfortunately, the Alphas kind of got bumped out there of the points, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, driver Championship, we have no real changes in top 10. And in the Constructors, we also have no changes. Mercedes now pulling a bit away from McLaren again. An okay amount of development. Not great, not terrible. I live with it. And in terms of money, we make uh, way less than we used to. We make about 4.1 as a result of paying Vettel's uh, bonus, unfortunately. But that's just how things be. Nothing we can do about it. Thank you all very much for watching. As I said, I'm a bit uncertain where this uh, series is going to go. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe we'll do a bit more of shorter series where we do one season challenges with the teams. Uh, see how and quickly build them up, things like that. But uh, I think we're going to continue for now. Uh, these episodes do take a lot of time to make, though, and I'm currently having a bit of a struggle with the after effects of COVID. Uh, I am working, kind of have to, and as a result, I have very little extra energy throughout the days. But uh, I do have I do have a deal now going where I have unstays off for the foreseeable future, just to try and get back into it. So... On Wednesday, if I haven't gotten videos out by then, I'll be recording, try and get as many as I could. This weekend was a bit of a mess as well, so my apologies for getting this video to you all late. But hopefully tomorrow I can fix it again. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't. And again, thank you very much. Big thanks to my members and everyone. Hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.